Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about different modeling techniques or different object types in 3ds Max. Uh, the reason I'm showing this to you is uh, I'm going to uh, show you or um, teach you how to create models with uh, splines or lines or 2D shapes let's say. So this is the second object type. We have learned uh, primitives, we have learned how to work with primitives. Uh, the second is creating models from splines or 2D shapes. And the third method will be uh, creating shapes from editable polys. Okay, of course there are a lot of uh, different modeling techniques, but uh, these are some uh, basic uh, things you can do in 3ds Max. You, want, you will want to combine uh, these uh, modeling types uh, and work with these. So in this lesson I want to show you how to create a window frame uh, with these three techniques, okay? I'm going to create it uh, with primitives first and then I'm going to do the same thing with shapes and then I'm going to do the same thing with editable poly. I know we haven't uh, get into editable poly or uh, shapes yet, but we, we will get into these in the upcoming lessons. But I want to give you a heads up. I want to give you how these work. So uh, I do think that you will have a better understanding uh, if you have this knowledge uh, that I'm going to show you in this lesson. Okay, so let's start start with a box. I'm going to go to create geometry standard primitives box and I'm going to just create a box. Uh, let's uh, set the width to a meter, uh, 100 centimeters and the height to 150 centimeters. Okay, and this is a uh, basic uh, window shape and I want to change the length, uh, which is the width in this case, is uh, to 20. Okay. Uh, now, uh, of course, we need uh, uh, frames, uh, like thinner boxes uh, for this model. So uh, let's uh, change this to be the glass uh, of this uh, window. So let's uh, change the thickness to uh, 0.4 centimeters or uh, 1 centimeter, whatever. It's not, uh, it's not really important to be accurate right now. I'm just uh, doing this to make you imagine a little bit better. And I'm going to move this uh, glass uh, part to the origin uh, he from here. Okay, let's hold shift and create a new model, uh, new box. And you know that this is also a box. We have created this with uh, holding shift and dragging the box. And let's change the uh, width of this to 20. Uh, sorry, length of this to 20. Uh, let's change the width to 5 centimeters. And I want to keep the height in uh, at 150. If I hit Alt A, I can align this to this uh, glass in here. Uh, let's move this in the X axis and let's move the minimum position to the maximum position. Okay. And let's create another one holding shift. Let's align this again. This time I want to move the maximum to minimum and this way it will snap to the other side. Let's create these two boxes in here. I'm going to create a new box. You can again copy for one of these. Well, uh, but whatever, let's just do this right now. Uh, I'm going to change the length. Uh, let's change the width to 100. Let's change the length to uh, 5. Uh, sorry, 20. And the height to 5. Okay. And this time I'm going to align this again. I'm going to align this in the 3x size and uh, I'm going to align the center to center. And you can see that we, uh, we have the box sitting at the center point of the glass. And now I want to move this in the z-axis. I've hit apply by the way, not OK button, uh, so that it wouldn't leave the uh, align uh, window. In the z-axis, I want to move the uh, maximum point to the minimum point of the glass. Okay, this way we have this shape. I can uh, increase the width of this. Let's increase it to 110. This way it will uh, sit. Uh, let me hit G to uh, be able to see this a little bit better. Uh, this way it will sit right. Uh, at the bottom of this uh, frame. Let's copy this again and align this the z-axis the minimum position to the maximum position. Okay. I want to select all these, set them to a gray color. And now I want to create uh, frames uh, in the middle, uh, thinner boxes. By the way, uh, if you can, if you select this middle box and hit Alt X, this will make it transparent and it will look a little bit more like a glass. Uh, I, I, I'm not doing this with material because we haven't seen it yet. So let's just do this Alt X. Uh, let's uh, copy this box and 
again align it as you can see i use align a lot uh, align it in the middle and let's uh, change the length to four maybe the width to four as well and i'm going to just hold shift and rotate this 90 degrees and create another copy and align this to the center point as well and this time uh, actually it's a little bit better if we copy this it will be a little bit easier let's uh, copy this align it and then let's just change these to four by four okay and i know they that they intersect with each other uh, i know that they plunge in each other in here uh, i'm not going to care about that this time of course in the end we, we are going to create to be able to create realistic renders you need to be careful about this stuff it won't work out uh, if you are going to have a render but for this lesson uh, i'm just going to uh, use it like this because i want to just pass these steps a little bit faster i want to show you alternative methods but in the end we are going to of course be careful about these widths and uh, we are going to create two boxes instead of just one box but whatever uh, i i do think you can imagine that so uh, i'm leaving that to a little bit to your imagination and i also just increase the height of the bottom frame in here to 10 and then i'm going to align this in the z-axis the maximum position to the minimum position and this way uh, maybe even make it a little bit longer like this as well okay and this is a uh, window frame that we created from uh, primitives let's do it do the same thing from shapes okay i know that you haven't seen shapes yet so maybe you don't want to follow this lesson it's okay i'm just trying to show you a theoretical uh, way of thinking about these things so if you can't follow it's no problem just uh, watch and listen please now the first thing is i'm going to create the glass so i'm going to just go to create shapes splines rectangle and create a rectangle like this and then let's set the uh, length to 150 and the width to 100 okay and if you apply an extrude modifier on top of this go to modify list and choose extrude from here you will see that if you increase the amount let's do uh, change this to 0.4 you can see that we have create we can create the same box shape uh, from this as well i know i know in your heads you're asking why do we use this box is much easier yeah but you can create much more complex shapes than this let me show you uh, how i do that i'm going to hit ctrl v which is the shortcut for clone by the way if you you can also right click and clone this will create a copy of the object uh, but just uh, on top of the older one okay it's not moving it so they we have two two uh, different separate objects as you can see but they're on top of each other so clone does this if you don't want to do this you can delete it you can just copy this as well it's the same thing then you can align this on top of the older uh, object it's, it this works as well uh, but in my opinion uh, clone is a little bit easier of course okay now let me uh, create a more complex shape i'm going to go to rectangle and add an edit spline modifier in, uh, in the middle uh, this is uh, the modifier we are going to or uh, not just this modifier line tool also does some something similar to this but this is the modifier we are going to learn uh, throughout next uh, five or ten lessons actually uh, you will see that it's very handy by the way uh, if you go to the spline sub object mode and select the spline this spline in here and if you just type in five to the outline in here and hit enter you will see that it creates a an offset from this uh, rectangle let's hit ctrl z because i want this to be minus five and you can see that we have a frame like this and now if you extrude you instantly have four bucks worth of <laughs> uh, an object i guess let's change this to 20 and you can see that we have this shape created okay right, we have the uh, mid uh, window as well let's hit alt x for that one as well okay Okay, so let's create the rest of the uh, things. Uh, first, uh, we need a little bit of an adjustment here. I'll go to the edit spline again, hit two. This will take me to the segment mode. And I will take this, uh, select this one and move this down. 
and you will see that we have that wider part as well. Uh, you can add another rectangle to here. Let's hit S and do this with uh, snaps. Let's hit edit spline to this one as well. Uh, sorry, not poly, edit spline. Hit to select this uh, edge and I will move this to this corner in here. And I will extrude this, uh, I guess, three centimeters. Uh, a little maybe a little bit large, like four. And uh, let me apply a gray material to these as well. Uh, make them look a little bit uh, similar. Okay, now I'm going to hit F again and do this shape in here. Uh, let's do that with a rectangle again. Okay, let's change the uh, dimensions to 150 by five, uh, four, sorry. And to move this uh, to the center, we can use snaps or we can again use a line. Uh, a line is a little bit easier uh, to, for me actually, <laughs> maybe not for you, but for me it's a little bit easier. And I can hit E to go to rotate, hit A to activate the angle snaps and hold shift, rotate this 90 degrees to create the second copy. And let's just uh, drop this to 100 centimeters, okay? Now, uh, if I select these two and apply an uh, extrude modifier to these, uh, you will see that we have these frames as well. I can again align this to the glass. And let's turn these to gray as well. And you can see that this is a very different approach, but we have the same shape, same object in the end. And one last approach is the edit poly approach. I can create a box for this. Again, this is this will be a little bit more advanced, but uh, please just listen. Don't worry about uh, what you can do or you can't do. We will all go through these. We will have a total of eighty <laughs> something lessons, so don't worry about. It. We are just at this. Uh, we are just starting the, uh, to this program. So uh, a hundred and fifty by a hundred. And the height is uh, 0.4 again. Uh, let's do this 20 this time. I'm going to extract the glass from this frame this time. Uh, I will add an edit poly modifier this time. A as I told you before, the third method is called, or the third way of thinking is called edit poly. So we have this. I'll hit 4. This will take me to the face or polygon selection. I can just select the polygons around this box. And I can extrude these. Uh, let's select four to see. Uh, let's extrude these five centimeters. Okay. And we have this frame. Uh, you can uh, select this and this face, these faces and just create a bridge from this. And voila, you have the frame already. Uh, let's hit Ctrl Z because I want to detach one of these. I want to use it as uh, the glass. I'm going to just select one of these, detach, detach as clone. And then again, bridge these. This way I have this separately and I can use this as uh, the glass part. Let's uh, add a shell modifier on top of it. Let's hit, uh, keep this shell at 0.4 and you have this, okay? And if you hit 4 and select this bottom face and move it down, you will see that we have another uh, detail in here. Uh, we can add a... Um, box in here oh, but i guess the best way to do this would be uh, but it's a little bit more complex so let's add a box for uh, oh sorry let's do this let's uh, hit four and select this face detach it from here as a clone of course i don't want to rip it out and you can just uh, go select that hit one to go into the vertex mode and just straighten these out and again shell apply a shell to this as you can see, there are a million ways of doing this. And also, by the way, uh, there are a million more ways of doing this in Edit Poly, in Editable Spline. You could, I could uh, just re-record this video and each time I would use, I guess, different things. Uh, so don't worry about it. Uh, it's, not the, it's not how I do it. It's just the way of thinking uh, in here. Uh, as you can see, I pulled the bottom face down in this example and I've pulled the bottom line bottom segment down in this example and in this example i've created a box okay these are different ways of thinking uh, how to create these objects and let's uh, do the last thing in here the frame to do that i'm going to hit two uh, two will take me to the seg uh, edge mode sorry let's select these edges 
and just connect them. Uh, as you can see, connect will create uh, these connections. And if I chamfer these, let's create a four centimeters offset. Uh, you can see that we have uh, these two parallel segments in here. Okay. And I can do the same thing. Select this, hit ring, connect, and I can create this new segment. And then I can hit four and create a bridge between these two uh, polygons. Okay. Let's make it a little bit thinner. I can make it a little bit thinner like this. Let's move the whole segment so that it, the shape won't warp. Uh, it will be easier for us to edit later on. Okay, let's create one more of these. Let's jam for these. I'm not going for just 100% accuracy. I'm just trying to show you how uh, I think again. And again, I can just select these and scale these points down a little bit. Okay. And this is a very different approach from the previous ones. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, paint these to gray, uh, gray as well. And as you can see, they are identical, uh, not maybe exactly identical, but we have some witness issues like uh, in here and here. But we could use one of these as a reference to the others, so we could just create the identical copy of that as well. But whatever, for now, uh, I w just wanted to show you how these three methods differ from each other. And as I told you, uh, from now on, we are going to start learning about edit spline, the second method. Uh, it's very handy. It's sometimes it's very quick. Sometimes I just uh, use this and create a lot of objects. But the more advanced uh, thing uh, I I have to tell you is the edit poly uh, method. We will get to those in uh, later lessons as well. Okay. Hope this was useful. Uh, if you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.